I wanted to bring this story up, and let me bring this closer, because I am a supporter of labor rights, um, and uh, uh, labor unions. Um, and this show is all in support of unions. And so, if my workers, if my two employees, well, uh, I have a few, if my employees wanted to unionize, and I was a big enough business, they could do so, and I wouldn't be a union buster. Well, that is the, uh, a difference from me and Starbucks. So here's what's happening. So a few weeks ago, uh, or a, a couple of weeks, maybe one or two weeks ago, Starbucks, uh, three Starbucks locations in Buffalo, New York, decided that they're going to petition to become a union. And so mail-in votes have started. So essentially what's going on is these guys, these workers at Starbucks are tired of low pay. They're tired of minimal benefits. They're tired of terrible working conditions. They're tired of not having any rights as workers. Because workers should have rights in this country. But we, we don't. And I'm going to get to that in the end. So. <laughs> and I forgot to do one thing in my video. Jeez. So my, my. So here's what's happening. So they petitioned to become a union. And so then what Star, the NLRB is behind them. Now what Starbucks is doing is instead of coming out and, and saying uh, uh, with saying like. Hey, we've got a lot of profits coming in. It doesn't matter if they unionize. We still got money coming up to Yin Yang. Let's do this. Fine. Go ahead. Unionize. Go ahead. We're still making money. Uh, I ain't give a damn. Well, no, they're coming out and trying to union bust at every chance, every turn they get. So essentially what's going on is they're, they're saying, okay, well, Starbucks went out and they first tried getting more Starbucks locations to petition to, to to file a petition to unionize so that it would fail because obviously those other locations were not in these negotiations with these other three stores. So essentially what they're doing is they're saying, oh, well, obviously you, you can't unionize because not enough people are voting and no one's on the same page. <laughs> well, that, that doesn't really work, right? Because, sorry, I weird dude adam well that doesn't really work because what so they now uh are filing petitions these these other stores those other stores and so now well starbucks like well fuck what what the hell do we do um and by the way this, this week these videos aren't censored for obvious reasons i'll be out so essentially what they're doing is they're, they're saying well okay well we can't do anything about this we can't so now now okay they said, well, let's up the ante. So they invited these workers to a fancy schmancy dinner at the Hyatt. The Hyatt, I think it is. It's how you pronounce it. And it's all these talking points, typical talking points from the corporations saying, oh, well, this is how good of a company we are. And we love our workers and we respect our workers. And here's all the good things that we do for you and all the benefits that we do. <laughs> all the typical things you do to union bus, anti-union meetings. And then... They spent the evening with Mr. Howard Schultz, the original founder of Starbucks. Wow, what a great idea. Let me let me spend a night with the CEO who's actively trying to come in and union bust. Wow. And prevent me from having workers' rights, rights as a worker. And he makes this analogy, and I wish he would get censored for it because obviously we get censored if we would make this kind of joke or storyline. That well, you know, the prisoners in the Holocaust had to share one uh, 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 sh share a blanket between them and their other prisoners. And essentially, what Starbucks employees are doing with the companies, the employee or the companies are sharing a blanket with their employees. Um, <laughs> might I remind you that those prisoners were mainly Jews, six million of them, in Dachau, Buchenwald, and and Auschwitz. Auschwitz too was uh, Dachau. And, and they weren't treated right. They didn't... Uh, by the way, most of them didn't get blankets. Most of them didn't get food. Most of them didn't get water, health, nutrition. Joseph Mangala was doing his horrible crimes. Anyway, it just pisses me off that this guy is... Ah, we're, 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 we're like the Holocaust. Except we, we appreciate you. Yeah. So... Oh, my God. So, a uh, typical union busting. Then, then... So I forget what company it was, but 
they started. There was a a store in Missouri, and they had voted to unionize. So what the store does is it closes that store in Missouri. And like, oops, oops, shit, sorry, you're all fired. <laughs> Unions, <laughs> you're so cute, you're so funny. That's what they do. Uh, so Starbucks closes all these locations too. I bet that it's another thing they can do. And in fact, in fact, they have closed locations. I, I've been hearing. This is exactly why we need a general strike. This is, you know, this is exactly why workers at Kaiser, Kellogg's, John Deere, Nabisco, uh, Frito Lay, you know, Frito Lay's, right? All these places, they're having strikes. They're getting strikes because, well, workers are demanding their rights. They're not getting their rights. So obviously, workers are saying, "Well, fuck it, I gotta go. F it, I gotta go and get my rights somewhere. Uh, get my rights another way." So I'm gonna strike, and you have people. Resigning from these industries and quitting and jumping into other industries because the pandemic taught them. I don't look. I don't I don't have to take your shit. I don't have to take your crap. I don't have to take you treating me like a fucking servant, like a freaking robot. I can quit my job and go into the uh, go into another industry. And people are literally closing small chain restaurants and walking out the door and locking it behind them and telling their bosses exactly what they think of them. There's a real trend in this country where people are waking up and going, hey, I have rights. I deserve my rights. I should have rights. And bo- look, I'm only 23. Uh, 24 now. I'm going to be 25 next year. I have not seen a lot. There are people twice my age that are going, oh my God, this is like nothing we've seen in our lives before. I hope to God this works. I hope more workers stand up and I hope more workers fight for their rights. And what we need in this country is a general strike. Every industry from technology to food and beverage to hospitality to grocery stores to Amazon uh, retail stores to everything, 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 everything. It would be annoying. (laughs) Uber drivers, Lyft drivers be horrible for us. But 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 but. People can get behind them because everyone's a worker here. And, you know, they're trying to look when you get workers striking, when you get workers leaving their these industries and their workplaces and unionizing, these workers have the support of us. If you support unions, you need to support these workers because these are the people that make your coffee. These are the people that fix your cars. These are the people that make the chips you eat, the cookies you eat. These are the people that make the farming equipment that works to preserve your all your your all the crops in the farms that put food on your table. These are the guys that make your technologies and 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 get your packages sent out from Amazon. It's horrible horrible terribly kept warehouses and and terrible with terrible working conditions. You know that these are the people. And so without them you're nothing. A- any of us, we're not nothing. We're, we're nothing without them. So, yeah, uh, I support this, and I hope this goes through. And look, this is why we need the pro act. The pro act, but Kirsten Cinema was showered with a bunch of cash. He's not going to pass that, and neither is Joe Biden because he doesn't give a f about that. He doesn't give a fuck. Because then the NLRB would have more strength, and they could go after these companies. And you know, because even if you unionize, and even with the appeals, and let's say they win all of that, and all the, all those things they could still not be unionized because our laws favor corporations. And it's because we have a democratic party that cares more for your corporations than they do for you. And we have a Republican party. Well, they've always been that way, but we should have a a democratic party that cares about you, but they don't. And this is why you got to vote third party because you need to scare these mother efforts, take 10 to 15% of the vote away from both parties. And they'll, one of them's got to come to the left. One of them has got to come to the left. So definitely support this and I hope these workers succeed.